Hi everyone, my name is Vincent Trabot. I work on image compression research at Google. This coming spring marks 10 years since we developed the WebP image format. This video talks about WebP, how it's being used today, and what we're developing next for the web. Some of you may be familiar with our previous videos on image compression, which you can find on the links below. WebP is an image format designed to save bytes on the wire for the web. Getting better visual quality in fewer bytes means faster load times, reduced data usage, and increased user engagement. Compared to the best JPEG encoders, WebP can reduce file sizes by 20 to 30% at the same visual quality. The lossless WebP mode sees similar savings over PNG encodes. On the animation side, WebP can produce even greater savings over GIFs. The format is open source and free, so you can try out WebP today by checking our developer site. So what has changed for WebP since the format was first released? Well, all along, the encode and decode libraries have continued to improve not only in compression performance, but also in CPU and RAM efficiency. Last year, we released a 1.0 version of libwebp, with future updates focusing only on maintenance and bug fixes. Huge thanks to all the open source contributors, bug filers, and testers who helped make libwebp the code base it is today. Another recent change is native browser support. In the last year, Firefox and Edge started shipping with WebP decoders, adding to longstanding support in Chromium-based browsers and Android. WebP has never been available in more places, reaching 80% of web users according to caniuse.com. For browsers without support, like Safari or Internet Explorer, check out our prior video on the picture element for JPEG fallback. You can also use WebAssembly to add a decoder to browsers only when WebP content is being served. For more information, check out this video from Google developer expert Kenneth Christensen. The web ecosystem has also expanded for WebP, with new options for essential image toolchains. Most recently, our team launched WebP Shop, an open source Photoshop plugin for importing and exporting WebP images in Adobe's Creative Suite. This is on top of existing support in Google properties like Android Studio and Scrooge, as well as open source tools like GIMP and ImageMagic. WebP has never been easier to use on your site. You won't be alone, since more developers are using WebP than ever before. Beyond success stories at Google brands like Shopping or YouTube, companies like Shopify, Vox, and Pinterest have detailed how WebP improved their site's quality. Now that we've accomplished so much with WebP, what's next? Well, as future work, we're exploring new algorithms that can bring an extra 25% size reduction, as well as a wider color space, hence enabling HDR display. Of course, we're keeping the features that make WebP a great compression format for the web, animation and lossless, interruptibility, meaning you can display something even if your image is not fully downloaded, no need for dedicated hardware, and of course, low CPU and memory footprint. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for updates.